Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, July 26th at 10.02 a.m. And what am I doing right now? Right now, I'm uh, starting my tea, making the simple syrup. Got like a cup and half of sugar in there and half a pot of water. Boil it. Comes to a hard boil. Dump my tea bags in there. Well, I turn the water off after it turns to a hard boil and then dump my tea bags in there and just let it sit all day. So, while that's starting to boil and get ready and keeping with the tea theme, I have all these bottles in here from uh, potential highway use for drinking my tea. And I need to clear this out according to the weighty. All right, look at this big ass collection. Yeah, all these would have been tea bottles that would eventually become pee bottles. All right, all ready to go for the recycling on Friday. Oh, and this trash needs fucking dumped too. This is this Friday as well. All right, the tea's done. Gotta turn the heater off. Well, boil anyway. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Group all these up. Some nice good dunks. Oh yeah. Now this seems kind of hot. Can put the lid on it and just let it sit. Give me the blue cup. The big blue cup. Now we're going through uh, the cupboards and and seeing what we're keeping and throwing away and. Give me the Pepsi glass. And stuff. Right, we got a whole stack of those from uh, Real City. Last year when they were doing their uh, burgers, all American burgers. Yeah, I'll be doing that again soon, probably. Yeah. I don't need any of that stuff. I had to put a big old rock, well, not a real big rock, on the sprinkler that's leaking because it does. So now, now it's buried. See, look at that. I ended up making a big puddle. Going down that way, so I need to fix that. But, how do I fix it? Do I just put some tape on it? And let the landlord deal with it? Or, cut that small little piece out and go get a connector up there at Home Depot? Either way, that needs fixed, and these sprinklers come on three times a day for 15 minutes, and that's way too much. We just have a basic, like, desert landscaping. Except for, you know, we got the three fruit trees. But this is too much water. And we go through quite a bit of it in the summertime because of these things. And the swamp cooler, but the swamp cooler don't use as much water because it has like a float in there. That when the evaporation, well, when the water evaporates out of the tank, it, you know, the float will go down, then it'll fill it back up. That's like very minimal compared to this. Look at all this water just sitting here. Actually, just standing water on dirt. That's way too excessive. The 
water has flowed over to this other bush. Yeah, I gotta fix this. Even if I'm just doing some duct tape right now until get a maintenance man over here and fix it the right way. Well, I was going to reprogram the uh, the timer, but the key is obviously gone. There was a key on top, and there was a key on top of the meter too. But I just worry about the leak right now. So what am I going to need for that? So I need my little tiny military hand shovel, some duct tape, and a couple paper towels. I'm gonna have to wait till this thing soaks in because there's just way too much water right now. Should take maybe an hour, as dry climb as this place is. All right, I was able to dig some water out of there and get the duct tape on here. I'm kind of mummifying it at the moment. And yes, I cleaned the pipe and dried it. Okay, that should do the trick. Well, the water's all soaked in, but I'm waiting till the sprinklers come on again to see if my uh, duct tape fix actually did the job because I don't want to bury it quite yet and then just have to undig it again so right now it's just the best thing then I'm gonna have to get the rake out here and fix all this crap up might do that tomorrow because yeah, that's kind of rough looking <laughs> 